Hello friends, I am in sunny Texas and today I'm going to check out Aldi. Now I know nothing about Aldi other than people tell me in the comments all the time, oh my goodness you need an Aldi in Alaska because our prices are so expensive. So I've watched some of my YouTube friends shopping at Aldi and I know it's a grocery store but really what I've come, the conclusion I've come to is you don't know what you're gonna find until you find it. So I am here for a conference for a few days and I need some snacks and I love having little cute things to take home to the boys snack wise. So we're gonna do a little shopping. We're gonna see what Aldi's all about. I'm gonna take you along for my very first ever trip to Aldi. Okay friends, it is 94 degrees here in Texas in October, which um, kind of boggles my little Alaska mind. I did grow up in Texas, so I know it's hot. I know what heat feels like, but it's been so long since I've been in this kind of heat. I'm enjoying it, but it does feel crazy to be this hot in October because at home we're already in the 30s, 40s, 50s every day and we had a very rainy cold summer so heat is just feels very foreign well first rookie mistake i don't have a quarter so i couldn't get a cart okay this does not look like a very big aldi i don't know what they actually look like so maybe this is the size of them Okay, we got some pumpkins for $3.49, which seems kind of crazy. At home, they're about $3 a pound. And bananas for $0.49 cents a pound. We pay $0.99 cents a pound in Alaska. Sometimes I can find them for $0.89. Cents. So $0.49. Cents. Wow. This looks like a very fun bakery section. Got some... Frosted sugar cookies for $3.95. Well, apple cider donuts for $3.29. Very fall. Ooh, a pumpkin roll for $4.95. Fluffer Nutter cookies. So um, peanut butter with marshmallow, that's a fun combination, $4.89. Ooh, and a s'mores cookie, this look yummy, $3.95. Got a lot of different non black eggs, these look great, what's the difference? Original and garlic, those look fantastic making little mini pizzas or gyros. We also have some mini ones. Oops. We love our naan. Okay, we've got quite the cracker selection here. Turtles, extra cheddar, those are cute. $4.79. I'm guessing that this might be an Aldi brand. I don't know. I've never seen that brand before. Little mini cheese crackers, $3.29. Here's a fun cookie section. Iced oatmeal cookies. <clears throat> $1.95. Butter cookies coated with chocolate, $1.99. Those look yummy. This also, I think, is a brand here at Aldi. You guys can... Tell me if I'm right. I feel like I'm seeing that specially selected. Ooh, I do love a good little butter cookie. $3.49 for that tin of Danish butter cookies. Oh, I did see someone talking about these being really good. Made in Germany cookies, $3.49. seem to have a huge selection of different cheeses and then charcuterie meats. These sure look fun for the death by garlic cheddar cheese, black garlic cheddar cheese. Got a Franken sage derby cheese, little pumpkin spice cheese. These are all $4.29 and a 
crazy cheddar bat knit cheese. Those are so fun. Oh, and some dessert hummuses. Sea salt and caramel hummus. That's very fun and festive. Oh, I love this. This charcuterie shop. They put all these fun things for charcuterie boards right together. You can make a good little basket for someone or just make your own really good charcuterie board with all this fun stuff. Onion chutney. Salami. Lots of different types of olives. Lots of different types of crackers. Fun, fun, fun. I am a sucker for a good little charcuterie board. This is a fun section. Freeze-dried strawberries. Freeze-dried apples. We know we love those. $3.49. Don't be deceived. It feels like nothing because freeze-dried food is so light. Ooh, dried pineapple. Love that. Dried fruit medley. These are $2.35. Some dried apricots, $2.95. Lots of fun seeds and berries. Okay, this looks like a fall section. They've got pumpkin spice oatmeal, pumpkin spice Oreos, peanut butter pumpkins. Those are cute. Limited autumn edition chocolates, Werther's Original, Caramel Apple, Maple Cream, and Pumpkin Spice. This is fun to have it all in a section together. Velveeta Bars, these are flavors I've never seen. Cranberry Orange and Pumpkin Spice, 388. And they've got their coffees, Apple, Caramel, K-Cups, Apple, Caramel Apple Coffee some little biscuit cookies, chocolate sandwich ones, and then these are made in Germany. We've got hazelnut ones. Oh, inspired by Germany. Product of the Netherlands. And then this one's a speculoos, crispy spice cookie filled with cream. Cool, $3.49. I think we tried some peanut puffs in one of our little like boxes of things from around the world. Two twenty-nine. We got some sugar roasted almonds, some sandwich cookies with cocoa cream filling. Oh gosh, they have lots of different things from this German-inspired company. Egg spatzo, mushroom spatzo, onion spatzo. Or it look like just little add water type of meals. Muesli, raisin and nut. Wow. Lentil and chickpea soup. That looks really yummy. They got herring fillets with mango pepper sauce or curry pineapple sauce. Lots of different harvest teas. With a, for a Keurig. I don't see a price on that one. Fried apples with cinnamon. Oh, this is sure cute. Ball shaped pasta. Ooh, yum. Apple cinnamon yogurt covered raisin pretzels, not raisins. And then pumpkin spice pretzels. Oh, and these cute little cookies to go on top of your drink. Crunchy caramelized cookies. So many fun options for fall. We've got wafer rolls for $1.74 and salted caramel. There's also pumpkin spice, pumpkin quick bread, cinnamon and brown sugar sweet potato chips, $2.99. Okay, we got a few more things here. Roasted sweet corn flavored popcorn, and then they've got another one over here. Kettle corn, pumpkin spice drizzle. Wow. 
pumpkin applesauce. Sparkling cider, $3.89 for four cans. Pumpernickel bread for $9.99. It's so dense. And some potato sticks. We got herbs in the Alps and hash browns. Last but not least in this section, strawberry Jaffa cakes. I've seen people talk about the orange ones. Oh, there's the orange ones. I just wasn't looking. They also have strawberry. I think I'm gonna need a cart. There's so many little snacks and treats I could get. Ooh, they got some fun Boo Oreos and fun holiday cereals. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie, Reese's Puff Bats, Lucky Charms Haunted. Lots of candy for Halloween. This looks like a fun section too. Peanut butter cups, sea salt caramels, coconut almonds. This looks fun. Coconut cashew crisps. Crisps and caramel apple. They also have them in pumpkin spice for $2.99. Ooh, butternut squash. I love butternut squash. They also have a roasted red pepper and tomato. These are soups. I would like that one. I always like to try butternut squash and make my own, but if they have one in a jar, that can just be made really quick. That's kind of fun too. Coconut rolls with salted caramel. I love a good coconut roll. Don't see a price on that one. But here's a different pumpkin spice apple cider. Didn't see that one over there. They just had the apple one. Well, I may not be able to really tell you what's new here at Aldi, but I can tell that they do a lot of seasonal stuff. You know, they have sections full of just that fall stuff. So really fun concept. So I cleaned out my purse before I came here and that included cleaning out any sort of change out of my purse. So I, I checked again, I don't have a quarter, so we're just gonna have to carry around a few things, but I am gonna grab a couple things for snacks for this week, as well as things to take home to the boys. This is a fun little home goods section. Casserole dishes, $6.99. Cute little chopping blocks for $9.99. Got some fun Aldi gear. They have pajamas for the Aldi enthusiasts, a beanie, a backpack, and slip-on shoes. Must have some. People must feel about Aldi the way we feel about Costco. We got a sweatshirt here and a mug, $6.99. Some cute fall decor. I'm not cooking while I'm here, so they do have a big section of refrigerated and freezer goods, but I'm not gonna take much time looking at those. I am gonna look at the price of milk though, because that always interests me. Okay, we got milk here for $2.76 a gallon. For whole milk in Alaska, I pay about $4.50 unless it's on sale. And then eggs here, $1.30 a dozen, which Seems like a good deal. Childhood memory unlocked. Bluebell ice cream. These little mini ones. I do have a freezer at my place. Oh, oh my goodness. I am gonna have to get some bluebell ice cream. I remember going to the bluebell ice cream factory when I was a kid. And I do have a freezer in my hotel room, so I'm gonna grab those last.
Okay, for my snack, I'm gonna grab some of these little nut and cheese things to have. My hands are getting a little bit full. I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Okay, back in the car, have the AC running. I turned it down so you could hear me. I can see the appeal of Aldi. It definitely looks different in there. I didn't expect to see everything in the boxes. Like they don't take things out of the boxes and put them on the shelf. Um, lots of brands that I have never seen, just like lots of random brands. Um, and like I said, really good prices. I could see that being a really fun place to shop, especially seasonally for little treats but also just for food. The prices of fresh fruits and vegetables seemed really great. Um, I don't know how that compares to other prices here. I'm not really gonna do much other shopping. The store looked very different than I thought it was going to. Smaller and just, I don't know, less fancy than I thought it was going to be, but that's probably how they keep their prices down. And just like every other type of grocery store, I'm sure there's ones in your community where one's nicer than the other one. I don't know where I'm at. I just typed Aldi into my GPS. It brought me here. So really cool experience. If you are worried that I am here while I'm pregnant, I checked it out with my doctor. He checked me right before I came. I have an appointment right when I get back. He gave me the okay to come on down. I've had this trip planned for over a year. So he just said, go on the trip. It'll take your mind off of things for a week. So I'm feeling good. Lots of sleeping and resting after flying down yesterday. I didn't do anything other than eat and sleep and rest. So I'm taking it easy. I'm not overdoing it and I'm excited. I'm here for a YouTube conference, which is super exciting. And um, yeah, let's get back to the hotel. I'll show you my little mini haul from Aldi. And here is our little haul. So I ended up getting some of this fun fall shaped pasta. I thought that would be fun to make a meal with. Some caramel apple soft caramels, apple cinnamon pretzels, peanut butter pumpkins, speculatus, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, spiced cookies, some dried pineapple. This is for a snack for me this week. Protein snacks, little cheese and nut snacks, and then sea salt, sea salt, Caramels. So there's our little Aldi haul for my first time at Aldi. I ended up spending $31.84. Unfortunately, no Luna here to inspect our haul. I'm gonna get some of this stuff into the refrigerator. Oh, I forgot, I did get the Bluebell ice cream. It is in the freezer. I put it in there right away because it was 94 degrees outside and I, it was getting soft just from that short drive back. Thank you so much for coming shopping with me today. I can totally 100% see why people love Aldi. Super fun to shop there, great prices. I don't see one coming to Alaska anytime soon because it just costs so much to get stuff up there. We have Kroger, we have Safeway, we have Three Bears and we have Costco. Those are kind of our main stores in Alaska. We don't have any discount stores really like Aldi. So that was really fun to shop there. Okay, I'm back from Texas. I got my little Aldi stash here and I'm gonna make a little dessert board for the boys for after dinner tonight. These are amazing.
okay, we just had a little family meeting and everybody got to share something with the family and then grab a little snack. Definitely the favorites were these sea salt caramels. Everybody loved those. These apple pretzels were really yummy. Um, these were a little bit too much for me, the peanut butter ones. They my loved. My friend was the sea salt caramel. Okay, you gotta, why don't you chew and swallow and then come back and tell me that, okay? The other fan favorite that's actually gone from here was the apple caramels, the Werther's apple caramels. Those were very tasty. Fun Aldi experience. I started getting Aldi videos on YouTube popping up after I had watched a couple. I found out that a lot of their like little home decor things are like dupes for Crate and Barrel and Williams Sonoma. Like you can get like a $5 pumpkin that's like 40 to $50 at those fancy stores. So if I was near an Aldi, I'd be looking for those dupes. That's kind of fun. Um, there's some really fun videos about that out there on the internet. Everett wanted to come tell us his favorite. See, so Carl, it's my favorite. Can you smile so we can see what happened? <gasps> Everett lost his front. Oh, we can see it. We can't see it if your hand's there, but we can see if you just smile. Everett lost his top front tooth. Where did you lose it? The top? One, that way. And where did you lose it at? The playground at my school. And did it get lost? Yes, but so we, but I wrote a note, and then I got three dollars, but I lost one of my coins. He got three dollar coins. One of them is missing at the moment, but kind of fun. All right, love you. Thanks for the recommendation for the sea salt caramels. Thanks for spending time with us, friends. We are so grateful for each and every one of you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Here is the note Everett wrote for the Tooth Fairy. I lost my tooth at my school at recess, and I cannot find my tooth from Everett. He wanted to make sure that the Tooth Fairy still came, and she found him. Isn't that so sweet? I just treasure this.